Pattern CAD is a very powerful tool that allows you to create patterns within the Dream Motion Pro software. To start in this overview of the Pattern CAD tool, we'll review two simple options, creating, smoothing, and simplifying a drawn design, and creating a pattern from a photograph or art. From the opening screen of the Dream Motion Pro software, select Pattern CAD from the Other Features menu on the right of the screen. To start with, let's set up the screen so that we can see everything easily. Click on the options in the top right menu. In Pattern CAD, select what color you would like the lines, nodes, and handles to be. I make them each a different color so I can tell which is which. Next, I make sure the line is wide enough. Let's make it a three. And the handles are a size large so that they are easy to grab and move on the screen. Let's create a custom signature. Reduce the node spacing down to one to bring the nodes closer together. What's a node? It's the basic unit used to build the pattern data, the points on a grid or a graph. I'm going to simply sign my name here. Each of these red circles is a node. Now, I'll just click Edit up here on the top right and select the entire pattern by choosing Select All. You'll know you've got everything selected when all of the nodes fill in with red. Next, I'll click on Simplify. This will remove unnecessary nodes, giving the pattern better definition. And Smooth does just that. It smooths the pattern by moving the nodes, making the pattern more rounded. I'm going to turn off the nodes so you can just see the line. There. Now, if I continue to hit smooth, you'll see the change a little bit easier. If you go too far, you can always hit the undo or redo arrows at the top. I think this would be a really fun way to make your signature on your quilt labels. Let's hit save. Choose the patterns folder and name the file and then we're done. Another fun way to design your own quilting patterns is by tracing over a photo or art that you like. I'm going to bring up a simple dress drawing to make a pattern with. From the top menu, select background and load image. You can select a bitmap or a JPEG file for this. Here's my little black dress. Select Draw from the right side menu and make sure that the box in the lower right marked Continuous Line is checked. It will draw a line between all points you touch as you trace your photo or art. Trace over your art or photo, click on Snap Ends, and the beginning and ending points will join. If I turn off nodes, you can see the line you've drawn easier. Select Edit, select All, and let's turn the nodes back on for a moment so you can see what's selected. At the top of the page, touch the button that looks like two sheets of paper. This brings up a copy of your drawing. Now let's turn off the nodes and drag the copy over. If I hit flip and flip it upside down, I can drag the second dress and nestle it in next to the first. If we return to the background and hit clear, the drawing disappears and we clearly see what's been created. But we haven't saved it yet, so let's do that. You can reduce the size of your pattern and save it again. Keep both sizes. Maybe use the large one as a repeating pattern across a quilt and the small one in the sashing. By selecting Optimize, you will see the quilting path and the trim lines that are currently in place. Touch Animate Stitching for a look at what you should expect. There are so many options, we've barely scratched the surface of Pattern CAD. I really hope you take the time to read the manual for Pattern CAD that is built right into the software to see all of the capabilities you have. And as always, we look forward to seeing what you're creating with your Dream Motion Pro software, Dream Fabric Frame, and Dream Quilter 15. So be sure to tag us on Facebook and Instagram so we can see what you've made. See you again soon.